Hey, how's everybody doing? Okay, I am so proud about what happened today with the solidarity solidarity and wearing black so i'm wearing black in honor of solidarity because i want women to be respected in the workplace and not to be sexually harassed or molested or, or touched inappropriately or get unwanted advances um enough and it stops here or you know you know, you know, the slogan, oh my God, you know, <laughs> I, I forgot what it was. Oh my God, it was, it's like, it was, enough is enough. And I want to know, I want to let you know, ladies, and, and for women who can understand English and who can trust in their own higher divinity, look to Psalm 52. Read that Psalm and mention the name of the person who is doing this to you as a woman. And see that man as your brother who unfortunately is not treating you as a human being or as a sister. Because every man could have a, bro a sister or a daughter or a niece. Definitely a mother. So give positive white light to whoever tries to do this and disgrace your womanhood in this way. Psalm 52. You write it down in a piece of parchment paper. Okay, about this size, and then you bless it with holy um, oil, olive oil, three crosses. It doesn't matter if you're Catholic or or, or denomination or non-denominational. If if there is a cross in any denominational church that you belong to, then it is to Christ, it is Jesus, which is the Son of God, Son of Man. You write that song written by David and you put that person who is for whatever reason in this ugly situation with himself in respect to women doing this to you, you write their name and you take it to the church and you leave it in the church and watch that man turn around and never touch you or bother you again, but he will be exposed. Because Psalm 52 will expose these types of predators. That's my gift to you. Regardless of what religion or culture you belong to. If you don't want to use Psalm 52 because it's not of, the, of your particular culture or philosophy, then seek your philosophy in your own religion and culture and see what equivalent verse or Sanskrit is there to protect women. Every doctrine has one. Well, that's good. Now, we are going to uh, jump right in, and we are going to talk about um, Sagittarius and Libra. Compatibility of signs. It still follows the rules of compatibility of signs. Uh, as you can see, I am drinking wine, but not pure wine. I took grape juice, right? And I took a little bit of yellowtail. And I mix it together. And that way, you know, it's cool. So no heavy drinking. The wine is a little bit good for the for the blood, especially red wine. I needed that boost after that. I had that devastating uh um, you know, sickness that knocked me down for two days. So I'm not gonna mess that up. Plus I'm already cleansing. Luckily, if you drink if you drink one glass of wine, dilute it. I like to dilute it. I don't like red wine too strong or too dry. You know, because that also can fuck you up, even two glasses. So, and I'm really not a wine drinker for recreation, but with a little bit of grape juice, which sweetens it up and kills the uh, the euphoric effect of the alcohol, it's okay. So, uh, without further ado, uh, Sagittarius and Libra. Now, I just finished talking about um, cancer in Pisces. And I attributed that compatibility for that segment as equivalent to the movie Casablanca. I compared that compatibility, Cancer, Pisces, to the movie Casablanca, an old movie of the 1940s, you know, starring Humphrey Bogart and Ingmar Bergman. 
Uh, something that's not going to be known by millennials unless they actually go on YouTube or online and research it and look at it. It's a great film. It's a great romantic film. You want to talk romance today or romance of the 80s? Nah. Romance of the 90s? If it's, if it's any that good, understand that it came from somewhere. Movies like Casablanca. Classics. Well, we have another combination that kind of fits that same model. And this is um, Sagittarius and Libra. Cardinal air and mutable fire. Now, already understand why they fall under the category of compatibility of signs. You have fire and air, and that right there is compatible. They're simpatico. They work together. That's number one. Number two, you have a uh, mutable air, I mean, mutable, cardinal air and um, mutable fire. So they, that in a category also goes well together. That also goes well together because you, what you're basically looking at when you have the uh, compatibility of signs of Sagittarius and Libra, you if you take the, the, the two sign names down and replace them, it will be the idealist and the adventurer. The idealist, of course, being Libra and the adventurer being Sagittarius. Okay, now Libra and Sagittarius are very similar together because they both have very similar goals that they like to pursue, you know, and both of them actually enjoy uh, seeking that which they are looking for. You have to understand that Libra is seeking, is searching, and so is Sagittarius. Sagittarius is seeking something tangible. While as Libra is seeking an idealism that may or may not be obtainable. Either way, both will try to seek it and find it anyway and contain it. Libra will try to find that idealism through examples of other people living that kind of idealism, like Plato's Republic. That would have been a that, that was the Libra age. Because it, it, it was perfect. It was perfect. It was the perfect society. The perfect utopian society as deemed by the most noblest of gods. That's Libra. Which is why Libra is never satisfied. That type of idealism can never live, exist on this plane. But that's not going to stop Miss Libra from trying. Or Mr. Libra from trying. Okay. Well, the same thing, my Virgin Mary felt. The same thing with Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius is seeking for that same idealism, but not through the intellect or the abstract, but through actual physical expression of it through nature, through people, and through different types of experiences. Sagittarius wants to give life, give flesh and blood to the idealism that Libra is seeking. Libra doesn't believe that such idealism exists, but she sure can see it and conceive of it in her mind. While Sagittarius, which of course is higher along the ladder than Libra, will have already seen it and experienced it. And can take Libra with him to be able, or her, to be able to experience it in real time. So then in this situation, who's the boss? Who's the boss? And does it matter if we switch the other way around? Okay. The boss would be Sagittarius, believe it or not. And either and Libra is cardinal, and it is the highest of all the cardinal signs, you know, as because of the element air. 
is the highest element in the core philosophy of the expressive intellect and the back mind of God. Right? We talked about that. So, at the same time, though, however, you have fire, which is divine spirit, divine spark. But that divine spirit and that divine spark will not sustain itself without air. Remember, you cannot have fire without oxygen, right? You can't have combustion without air. So in, in the technical sense, air will be the boss because without air, you can't have fire. It's not, it's not the air itself that causes the fire. It's the different elements containing the air. You know, you have argon and CO2 and nitrogen and oxygen and different percentage levels, right? One atmosphere. The one that's going to cause that fire to fire is the oxygen com component of that air, of that air. So if we look at it spiritually, esoterically, you have to say that Libra, cardinal air, will be the boss in principle but in principle only. Because it, at the end of the day, Libra is quite quixotic in the sense that he or she make moves and stops and go and stop and so jerks, you know, and can become rather complacent and haven't figured out the riddles of life in their head. They don't necessarily really care to have it manifested. As long as they know that it can be manifested and that they can manifest it themselves at will, then they don't really need to be too much of a rush to go out like Mr. Sagittarius to go conquer it. Oh, it's there, it's there. But Mr. Sagittarius, needs to experience it. He needs to see it in the eyes and faces of the cultures and people that he sees and tries to discover in hopes that he can see a part of himself in them. This lends for a great experience as a, as, as a, as a journey. It's like backpacking through Europe. That would be Sagittarius. Whereas Libra will love that same experience, but through conversations of others who have done it. And will bring that knowledge back to them in, an, in a forum where there can be an intellectual exchange of ideas and experiences. And that would be fantastic for Libra. They don't really need, they don't really need to necessarily go out and, and, and experience it themselves. Unless, of course, they have their own hidden motivations for doing so. But, nonetheless, it's all good. And why is it all good? It's all good because um, Libra is very laid back. All four types, but so is Sagittarius. And both of them have a good head on their shoulders. This is considered to be, of all 144 combinations, this one, Sagittarius and Libra, is considered to be the best combination of all 144. Yeah. Yeah. I can see why on many levels and on many fronts. And the thing about this combination is that it works fairly and relatively well, whether you're younger or older. Doesn't matter the sex and the gender, and you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, it, it really doesn't matter. It is perfect combination. And, and, and the other thing about Sagittarius and Libra as a combination is that they are both stimulated by the intellect, stimulated by each other's um, 
libraries of experiences that each one brings to the table as individuals. You know, it's more resource of an intellectual nature that can truly push the relationship to untold the heights in which there can actually be a possibility of obtaining such idealism, which Libra, um, you know, swears by. But so does Sagittarius. And although neither of them may be sure if they are going to find something better in the other end of the horizon, they are going to have fun trying to discover it together. So, having said that, it is no wonder that they're not going to um, really make a fuss and really get in each other's way because they both want the same thing. And they both have a deep level of respect for each other because of the amount of wealth of information and experience that they are bringing to the table. And because both Libra and Sagittarius will not place demands on each other. They're not going to be the couple that's going to be um, trying to um, demand something and not give something back. Both signs are quite fair, quite fair. Both of these signs together forms the legal justice system, right? When you go to court, don't you see the scales of justice of all the court buildings and all municipal buildings of every culture and land across Western culture? Doesn't the court system itself, the judge represents Jupiter, the king of the gods, the lawgiver? So does Saturn. Saturn actually and Jupiter sit both together parallel, one severity, one mercy, and both balance the scales of justice. So Sagittarius is just as noble and, and, and just as, you know, what can I call, how, how can I call it? You know, just as, uh, just as valuable as the law itself as Libra. And, and then don't forget that Sagittarius also rules the clergy, religion, higher power, you know, the ecclesiastical. So, so Libra's morality is more intellectual in the sense that all of us have to live by a certain code if we are to call ourselves a moderate and elevated society. That is a code of Libra. But Sagittarius, on the opposite end of the scale, represents the moral obligation and the moral ethical fiber of that society which is symbolized by Sagittarius which whose planetary ruler is Jupiter right and he rules the church and the clergy and that which is philosophical it's right along in tandem with the idealism of Libra so do you see how both of these signs are so simpatical. Libra rules the legal system, the law, lawyers. You know, lawyers are Libras. So lawyers is a Libra profession. So there is a lot of moral integrity involved and, and scruples and pathos and ethos, you know, concerning these two signs. So that means that because they function, I mean, they may or may not function at those higher ideals, depending on, on their level of maturity, the level of education, and their level of uh, exposition, you know? And if they're too young, they might still be in their shadow elements before they go, grow out of that and go into character, usually past 30. You know, that would be the only exception but even then, not really. Those pathos and those ethics will be embedded in Libra and in Sagittarius very early on from early age. It is not something that's accumulated 
along the way. It is expounded on, learned on, mounted on along the way, but it is not a new discovery along the way, like it is for the rest of us. You know, they've already have this embedded in their soul structure. That whatever they do and whatever they may experience or interpret life, there will be a quote, moral and ethical principle behind it. That same moral and ethical principle will also enter the context of an interpersonal relationship between Libra and Sagittarius. And it is this powerful ethical bond that will keep such a high moral integrity among the couple. But they're not going to cheat on each other, lie on each other. Because if one of them were to get caught, how will you be able to save face? Knowing that you're so much more above that, and yet you resort to going down the gutter. That is more of an insult to an intellectual like Libra and Sagittarius than a than calling a, a a thief, a professional thief, a sloppy thief. Even the thief will be offended, despite the fact that his profession is one of darkness, because integrity is integrity. Doesn't matter in which side of the stratum you fall, you know. Even in hell, there is integrity. As above, so below. So understand that the principles that move this couple forward as a congruent relationship may not be the norm like it is for all of us. I'll tell you one thing. This group most certainly will not um, be swayed or manipulated you know, by emotions, either their own or their environment. And some or other people, someone else's. They're not going to allow um, human frailties. Well, first of all, they might even convince themselves that they don't have any human frailties. That's the danger of the air signs and the fire signs, is that they don't believe that they have the flaws that most other people have. And even if they do know it within themselves, they will die with those secrets to the grave. They take they will take those secrets to the grave with them. They're not going to um, let you know that you may be right. Because then they have to be wrong. Sometimes they can take very polarized views of, of an issue and lock in, not even sure if they're doing the right thing, but just until they can find some kind of ground in which they can then objectify their choices and see if there needs to be modification or reevaluation. And this is something that constantly goes on in the head of Libra, especially Libra. Constant reevaluation, readjustment, reevaluation, readjustment, 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 you know. And that is the the, the vacuum of, of Oop, oop, pee, doop, that we from the outside looking in perceive when we see Libra going through these mental clicks and clanks and quacks and clicks. And this is where someone as objective and as blunt and as brief and as forgiving as Sagittarius can be very handy for Mr. Libra or for Mrs. Libra. It doesn't matter if it's man or woman, it will work either way. So their level of entertainment is just them sitting together, enjoying each other's company, enjoying e e each other's exchange and interludes and intercessions. They can sit and talk for hours and hours and hours. And that could be better than sex for Libra. Because Mr. Sagittarius, who's too sexual, will require the real carnage. But it's okay. Because even Sagittarius can sexually be very satisfied going in his head or her head. Just like Libra. So that they could be doing that and connect to each other that way in that level. 
and not even take their clothes off. And we're done with part one. Wow, that went so fast. 